Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to create Chrome text effect in Photoshop. Before getting started, please do download the project file, link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. In case if you want the completely designed .psd file and layer style means hit the like button soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the project file, open the psd file inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file, size is 4K. If you want, you can create your own canvas. I have given you the color palette, the colors we are going to use in this design. First, let's create a solid color background. Further, go to the background group, create a layer. Now, go to color picker, select black color. Now, fill the color. I used the keyboard shortcut Alt Backspace. Next, we are going to add our text. Further, go to the text group, create a layer. Go to color picker, select white color. Pick the text tool. The font I'm using is a free font. I'll give a link in the description. With size as 730, I'll type in my text content. I'll place it at the center here. Next, we're going to add effects. For that, select the layer, right click, blending option. There, first select gradient overlay. There, I'm going with mode as normal, opacity as 100. Now, click the gradient bar, select the first one. On the left side, I'm going with this color. This one by sampling and selecting the color number one, click OK. Next, I'm going to create a new color stop at the center. I'll keep the location as 45. Now I'm going to change the color. I'm going with this second color. Now click OK. Now I'll create another color stop. I'll keep the location as 50. Now I'm going to change the color. I'm going with this white color. Now click OK. Next on right side, I'm going to change the color. I'm going with this fourth color, this one. Now click OK. I'll keep the location as 40, this one. Fine. Now click OK. Now I'll keep the style as linear, angle as 90, scale as 100. Now we are done with gradient overlay. Let's go to stroke. Now enable stroke. There I'm going to keep the size as 4. Position as outside. I'll keep the mode as normal. Size as, sorry, opacity as 100. I'm going with this fifth color, this one. Click OK. Next enable bevel and emboss. There I'm going to keep the style as stroke emboss and transition as chisel art. I'll keep the depth as 200, direction as down, size as 10, soften as 2. Here I'm going to keep the angle as 65 and 30. In glass contour, I'm going with to select double ring, this one. Fine. In highlight mode, I'm going to change the mode to color dodge. This one, I'm going to keep the opacity as 75. Next in the shadow mode, I'm going with multiple and I'm not going to change the opacity. I'll go with 50. Next, we're going to add inner glow. There, I'm going to keep the mode as color dodge. I'll keep the opacity as 50, noise as 0. I'll change the color to this one, sixth color. Now click OK. Next, I'll keep the technique as soft. I'll keep the size as 60. Next, I'm not going to touch any other settings. Next, we're going to add color overlay, this one. There, I'll change the blending mode to overlay. In the color, I'm going to sample and select this seventh one, this one. Now click OK. Now I'll reduce the opacity down to 30%. Fine. As a final setting, we're going to add drop shadow. I'll keep the blending mode as multiply, opacity as 45, angle as 90. Distance 13. 
spread as 0 size as 16 now click ok there you go we got our chrome effect next i'm going to create a duplicate copy of this text layer by using keyboard shortcut ctrl j i'll bring it down now i'll edit the text fine once you're done next we're going to add effects before that i'll disable the color palette select the effects group now we're going to add curves adjustment layer this one there i'm going to select blue curve now pull the top and bottom point a little bit up to create a blue tint effect next we're going to add drop in lightning stock image to create cinematic feel for that go to the project file open the lightning stock image inside photoshop now drag and drop the image inside our canvas make sure to place it inside the fx folder now i'll change the layer blending mode to screen so that black color will turn in invisible i'll place it on right side here fine next i'll create a duplicate copy using keyboard shortcut ctrl j i'll move it to left side now enable free transform tool and flip it horizontally I'll place it here. Fine. Next, we're going to add flare effect. For that, go to the project file, open the flare stock image inside Photoshop, and drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Now, again, change the image blending mode to screen. Now, place the flare image randomly on text to create typical cinematic glow effect. First, I'll place one here, another one on the top, another one. I'm using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J to create duplicate copy. I'll place it one here. I'll go with alphabet A, fine. Next, another one here. There you go. Once you're done, let's add another glow effect for that create a layer. I'll change the blending mode to color dodge. Now go to color picker. Now select some kind of dark blue color. This one, something like this one. Now click OK. Now pick brush tool, select soft round brush. This one. Now increase the size. Now give a single click on the spots we placed our flare stock image to create glow effect. There you go. Once you're done, now merge all our layer into a single layer by using keyboard shortcut Shift, Control, Alt, E. There you go. Now go to filter, camera off filter. There I'm going to reduce the temperature a little bit. Increase the tint a little bit. Now I'm going to increase the vibrance and saturation to make it a little bit vibrant. Now let's add a little more saturation by increasing the blue color here and I'll increase the luminance a little bit as a final step go to presets there I'm going to sharpen the image to medium by selecting this option now click ok there you go now our chrome text effect is ready so that's it guys I hope this video is useful to you don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials subscribe to my channel and please do check out my other videos thanks for watching take care